All right, I'm here for my second visit with Sandy and Phil, their cats Pirate and Woody. And the last time I was here, these guys were blaming the death of their cat Velvet on Woody. And they were worried because of what happened that Woody was gonna kill Pirate too. Now, I got a chance to watch Sandy and Phil's video homework and I gotta tell you, there wasn't much that I liked. I got to see these guys trying the exercise feeding at that screen and what a mess. I mean, instead of raising the curtain slowly over time, they just opened it. This is not good because if these cats can see each other, then there's still that potential for violence. And pirate runs. I also saw the Sandy and Phil writing down their feelings. Resentment and anger. So hopefully we can get past the grieving process of Velvet and move forward. How are you, Phil? Hopefully today when I walk in, the violence is down just a little bit, because if it's not, yeah. I'm telling you, Woody's days here are numbered. So guys, tell me, it's been a few weeks here. I'm almost afraid to ask, but how's it going? Woody and Pirate had an encounter that really freaked Pirate out. Woody got in the bedroom, Pirate was on the bed, and Pirate hissed and Woody lunged at him. Was it a bad fight? It could have been if we didn't break it up. The lunge happened, did contact happen? No. When Woody attacked Velvet, it was a lock rolling around kind of fighting. Yeah, but Woody and Pirate haven't really had many of those. The, no, these guys these haven't two had any. haven't had. Say that again. What? <laughs> they haven't had any. Any, not one. No. You know, the first time I came here, I was hearing about fights. Now there's no fights. There's just threats and lunges. They see things that haven't actually happened because they haven't completed this grieving process over their old cat, Velvet. So have you been playing with Woody? Yeah, with the laser toy. But wait, wait, um, you're talking about the laser now. Yeah. How the laser pointer has a function. That function right. was basically to lead him, not to play him down. The thing is that if he can't catch it, right. he's always going to be frustrated. I told them to only use the laser pointer as a distraction tool. This is our first line of defense, yep. so that he doesn't seek the same attention from Pirate. I'm just looking at you. You're halfway out the door right now. Uh, <laughs> he is. I'm going. Let me just ask you point blank. Yeah. Do you want to rehome him? Uh, just, do you want him gone? You know, I'm ready to cut him loose. How are you feeling about that? I want this to work. It's not fun for me to walk into a home on the second visit and hear a guardian say they're done. But we got a lot of work to do yet, and I don't feel like Phil's down for it. We're going to actually do the feeding exercise because I want to be able to just lead you guys through exactly how I'd like it to look every day. OK, so I'm going to go in with Pirate. Now, in the meantime, let's just close this up. Yep. Now, I walk up to the screen, and I got to tell you, it's a wreck. The, the curtain that's hanging in front of it is only halfway together. The pressure is so on right now, I can't even express it to you. So uh, basically, all we're gonna do, we're gonna close this curtain. Okay. Let's just make sure it goes all the way down, because that's what I was missing on the homework. Yep. Here's the thing that I'm gonna have you do. Use the laser pointer to distract him from the curtain. Okay. I just want him to be able to eat and walk away and not even really pay any attention to the screen. Okay. Good boy. Okay, guys, whenever you're ready, he's ready. Okay, we're bringing the plate over. Okay. Just picked him up. Here. Pirate is at the gate eating. He's kind of sniffing. He's looking at the fence, trying to try his other food. Oh, boy. Guys, no, no, no. Use the laser pointer to distract him from the curtain. We're trying to see if Woody is going to like this food. He, now, well, see, this, that's why this is not going to work. Right here. Um, Woody just took off. Oh, here he comes. He's not. Uh, Sandy, he's after that food. OK, good. I'm confused by so much right now. I can't see what's going on on the other side of that curtain, but it sounds pretty chaotic. I mean, these guys sound like they just don't have a grip on the exercise or on Woody. Oh, here he comes. Uh, we're falling apart here. I wanted you to distract him. He loves to be in the curtain. And this is exactly what I don't want. So well, cut it. The exercise showed me a few things. Number one, Pirate's OK. Number two, Phil and Sandy are just not holding it together. And that concerns me. Number three, this screen has got to go. So here's what I want to do. Strike the screen. Okay. I want to feed on opposite side of that door to your office where Pirate likes to hang out. I want them to go back to a simple other side of the door feeding. And if they eat and walk away, we're great. And then we'll start introducing visual contact. 
Number two is pretty much everything I assigned you last time, from site swapping to play with Woody, which is so important, right. to establishing Pirate's mojo. One of the worst mistakes that Sandy and Phil made was assuming that Pirate was weak and old and couldn't take care of himself. Doesn't matter how old you are, doesn't matter if you only got one eye, the cats don't see themselves as handicapped. They don't say, poor me, I'm blind, I'm old. Final piece of your homework, most important piece of your homework, is our blackboard. Yes. Unless we can release Velvet from, from the equation, we have to just decide the next time I'm here where Woody's going to go. Sandy and Phil have just a few weeks to decide whether it's more important to live with the cats that are in their lives now or to live with the trauma that they experienced in the past. Without further ado, tell me, has there been any violence, anything? No. <laughs> oh, good. OK, let's talk about it. One time, he ran into the bedroom, and Pirate was under the bed. And we managed to get him out with some treats and a toy. Fantastic. And I had to take a step back and, and, and realize that Woody will never be velvet. Woody is my cat, and he's got his own great traits. You know, in his own way, he, he does a pretty nice job. Wow. <laughs> I don't hold Woody accountable for Velvet's death. It, it is just uh, probably an unfortunate situation that happened. So it, it was quite an eye-opening experience. In order for these guys to have that relationship, to move past that point, I need to see them in the same room at the same time without something breaking out. Are you good with that? They're ready. Or hopefully we'll be ready. <laughs> That's what I was wondering. How ready are you? I'm ready, nervous, but ready. The most important part is we don't interrupt it. OK. OK. All right. But there's only one thing left for me to do. I got to see both cats in the room at the same time, and I got to see that no violence is going to erupt. Otherwise, Sandy and Phil are going to go back to their old way of thinking that these cats can't exist side by side. Now, you know that at some point, you got to allow him to do his thing, right? Now, if he happens to jump up here, that's what happens. We get totally cool about it. I can feel Pirate's heart racing. It's OK. Your yeah. job is to not allow that. See, now, look, he's getting a little, uh, he's, he's getting, getting a little what? Nothing's happening. <gasps> it's so important, please, for yeah. you guys to yeah. take a second, and especially, That's I can right. feel it. I keep telling Sandy, relax. And she's sitting there all crunched up. You don't think Pirate feels your energy? Sandy, just breathe. These guys are now three feet away from each other, and there ain't nothing going on. Take a look at Pirate's body language. He's asleep. You know that he knows that Woody's right there, right? Uh, yeah. You love seeing proof that energy can change a cat's behavior, because as soon as Sandy finally took a breath and relaxed, boom, Pirate fell asleep. This is surprising to me. Ah, breathe. Do you really think that he's going to go after a sleeping cat? <laughs> yes. <laughs> In that moment that Woody pokes his head up and Sandy and Phil both get tense, this is the culmination of all the work that we've done. Woody does attack, it's over. Woody's leaving this house. There it is. Man, I'm so proud of Woody because in that moment, he looks at Pirate, he says, meh. I don't really care much. That was so important for both of these cats and more importantly, both of those humans.